What does it take to build a society? With a bunch of kids stranded on an island, it is, is it possible for them to form a society? Lord of the Flies explores a group of kids between the ages of 6 and 12 and how they create, build upon, and then destroy their civilization. A society can be so easily created then fall apart within an instant. That we can see how a society can fall apart in Golding's book, starting with the building blocks of what makes a community. Society requires many things to work in general. Each individual person takes up a job that is fundamental to society in some way. Some are more fundamental than others. In the case of Lord of the Flies, Jack's group of boys are the hunters, and Ralph's small inner group consisting of Piggy, Simon, Sam, and Eric are more of a democratic council that influences Ralph's overall decision as chief. These building blocks help to make up the small society the boys develop, and you can soon see that if Jack so wished it, which he did, he could overthrow everything Ralph and others were building. But the power of food on Jack's side, and realistically nothing on Ralph's side, Jack holds all the power. By using the younger one's instincts against the better judgment they have not yet developed, he can make them do whatever he wants. Society's building blocks work together in a way where it's an assembly line. The building blocks of society are how society is when people, workers, and gatherers function together. The gatherers in the society are the ones who go out and gather food for the community. The gatherers later sell their food to the workers. The workers pay the gatherers and later resell the products they bought and sell it to the people of the society. The people of the society buy these items and use it for their own personal use, whether it be food for cooking or a new engine for their car. The people of the society then become the workers of the society, in which they get paid to go out and work. Ultimately, the one thing that brings down a society is the debate. Should the government be what it is? The fall of major civilizations is a subject with a lot of debate. Most of the major empires, the Romans, the Persians, Ming Dynasty, and much more recently the Soviet Soviet Union all fall due to bureaucratic failures from within. An inability to manage a growing population effectively, coupled with corruption and conflicting interests, led to the downfall of all the world's major civilizations. This too can be found in Lord of the Flies. Ralph's inability to keep Jack's cohort of supporters in line with the tribe's goals led to the organizational collapse of the tribe. Were it not for the naval officer who rescued them, the island would have descended into anarchy, with the remnants of the once unified tribe fighting each other until none were left. Limiting corruption and having a robust bureaucratic infrastructure is one of the most important factors keeping the major powers from collapsing. Without a strong bureaucratic framework, civil unrest becomes harder to manage, leading to a civilization's downfall. The question still stands, what does it take to build a society? With Ralph as leader and then Jack turned dictator, were the children able to form a successful working society? Little of the Flies shows how the adolescent build upon, then destroy the civilization. Society can effortlessly be made, but then crash within the few seconds.